Hello there, may I present to you an irresistible, giftable grazing box that your friends and family will devour in minutes. It's very easy to make. You just start with a food safe box and fill it with your favorite cheeses and meats. I've started with a camembert cheese, cut in half and then cut into wedges and arranged at one side of the box, tucked it in to make some more room. Next. I folded some slices of uncured fennel salami. I'm going to make a chain with these. So I end up inserting one slice into another to make a ruffle. And this is going to end up going around the border of the camembert cheese. After this, we're on to the cheddar. This is of course Irish cheddar, cut into triangles. Don't be an idiot and cut it into cubes. Give it a bit of a tidy. Now lay on to your more salami, putting them into the corners of the box. And then copa, which is an Italian style uncured meat. Lay it all out nicely. Give it a bit of a tidy up. Make sure it's all ship shape and we're on to Edom. This Edom cheese has also been cut into thin wedges. I'm arranging it in a curve to be a little bit different. Not everything needs to be in a straight line. Any wee gaps, fill them in with thinner slices of cheese. More salami going into the corner. Fan it out to make it look nice. Make sure the pieces are not all stuck together. After this, we're on to provolone. Sliced provolone gets turned into a cone and gets placed into the box wherever there's space. I've done the same type of cone with a piece of salami. Fresh tomatoes get added and now the cones are being used to store those marinated olives. Those are in oil. That's marinated roasted garlic that's going into the salami cone and color is being added by the use of these Castelfiltrano olives. Pomegranate seeds go into the provolone cone and we're on to some fresh citrus fruit. Can't go wrong with that. Put them anywhere that you see any type of a wee gap. We don't want to see the bottom of that cardboard box. Now it's sugared fresh cranberries. I opted to use food tweezers for this. I wanted the sugar to stay on the fruit, not my fingers. That's it. Just place them around. Make it all look appetizing and appealing. And the last ingredient to add are the spiced pecans. Again, add them anywhere you want, making sure to fill up any gaps that you might see. And lastly, bit of greenery. I'm using rosemary and thyme sprigs. Dried citrus fruit is also great to add to the box. Now you're done, it's lovely. Get it closed up, choose your ribbon, wrap it up, add greenery, and bring it to your family and friends. Open up and enjoy. That's us now.